I'm Jed Mingo. <laughs> My handle on the CB is JR. Yep. And I've been driving since I was probably 10 years old. I was raised on a farm, so my dad put me in the tractor in the truck right from the get-go. I live in Salt Lake City, and I met a guy named Rich Eggett. He's with Kingdom, um, really familiar in the motocross crowd. And I rented an office from Rich. He has a big yard in Salt Lake. I parked my trucks there. And I just noticed that he had a show trailer one day, and I s well, asked him about it, and we hooked up. Uh, went to the race with him, ended up meeting Ryan, and Ryan needed some help with registration insurance on his truck. It was his first year with the semi. And then, I think last May, he needed a driver, so he called me and said, hey, do you know anybody, or would you be willing to drive? So I said, sure, we hooked up, and I ended up doing the whole outdoor season. We only planned on doing, I only planned on doing two races with him until we found a driver to fill in. But I enjoyed it so much, we had a good time, and Ryan made it, we just, we clicked, and so I ended up doing the whole outdoor season. Um, my business at home gives me freedom, I'm self-employed, and I was raised on dirt bikes, so it's a good mix. I love being out here. I, I get some flack once in a while from the guys because, I don't know, they'll finish early and I'm still out there watching, and I'll get back and they're like, where are you at? You're supposed to be helping. I'm like, well, I'm watching, man, I'm watching the racing. Actually, I have a collection of them. The, the net back trucker hat, they're ugly, but they're, they're cool. And I wear them, but I have to wear the team hats here and, and our sponsored hats, so they don't make the trucker hat. I'm, I'm gonna talk to them, see if they will. <laughs> my passion is flying, I love to fly. Um, on the farm, my grandpa had an airplane too, it was the coolest thing, and I was, like the only grandson that was interested in it, and so he would always take me flying. We'd, he had an old vintage plane called the Navion. They're, they were built back in the 40s and 50s. Taught me how to fly it. We would fly up to his dry farm and all over. And my, my goal is to be involved more in flying as a career, and so who knows, maybe in motocross we'll have a, a Honda jet and I'll fly all the riders around. Mark my word, we'll be there someday. I have a dirt runway on the farm back in Idaho, and I came in one night. I don't, it, the runway's not lighted, so I'll have my uncle or my dad or somebody that's home run, run the pickup down and shine the lights on the runway so I can see. I have good landing lights, big spotlights, they're pr lighted up pretty good, but I came in one night and uh, my perception was a little off, and I probably dropped the plane a good 15, 20 feet and bounced it. And, but I still made it out of it, but it was scary. I, I don't want to do that again.